Since June 19th falls on a Saturday this year, most federal employees will observe the holiday tomorrow. In the Twin Cities, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield looks at how the holiday is having a broader impact than ever before because of what unfolded in Minneapolis. There was anguish. <laughs> and there was anger. As the world reacted to the death of George Floyd, 17-year-old Amani Laban reacted too. I've been boots on the ground protesting a lot for those lives. She learned firsthand about current events and stumbled upon past ones too. To be honest, I've never heard about Juneteenth in school. They never really taught it to me. The only time that I heard it was literally last summer with the death of George Floyd. And she's far from alone. And the mere fact that it has gone unnoticed and unrecognized and untaught in schools is it's really, really troubling. Dr. Keith May says the holiday that commemorates when the last slaves in Texas were finally told of their freedom is a holiday that's now being more closely observed because of what happened in Minneapolis. That sparked the Black Lives Matter movement, put new attention on police violence across the country. Um, it becomes new in the minds of many, uh, even those who may not actually even heard of it before. And one local group is making sure that people hear about Juneteenth in the most beautiful of ways. The theme of Juneteenth is reparations. We needed a song about reparations. Gary Hines and his well-known group, Sounds of Blackness, who released Sick and Tired after George Floyd was killed, are now dropping a Juneteenth single. Juneteenth to me represents freedom, equality, justice, the reality of those more than just being an idea. So the only way that African Americans and enslaved Africans, our ancestors, that we can honor their memory and acknowledge them and for them to take their rightful place in history, it begins with the commemoration of Juneteenth. So he and others are making sure that Juneteenth, a painful and triumphant chapter in history, is now taken into the future. That's a liberating day. That's a very important day, not only in black history, but in American history as a whole. Sounds of Blackness Juneteenth single is officially live. It can be bought on iTunes, Spotify, or you can watch the video on YouTube. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, for news. The Minneapolis Park Board is hosting a number of Juneteenth activities this weekend, and we have a list at WCCO.com links.